Nation branding is a practice that aims to measure, build, and manage the reputation of countries. While the field of nation branding is still developing, many governments have dedicated resources to improve their country's standing by attracting international tourists, investment capital, exports, and political influence in the world. Today, a targeted PR campaign can help nations proactively leverage their good news and address any negative concerns. Storytelling is the cornerstone of nation branding and why PR can have such a significant impact on how a nation is perceived. Nation branding is often about changing perceptions, while corporate PR often consists of elevating a product, service, executive, or market. When it comes to branding a nation, there are many sensitive variables that need to be considered, such as people, culture, language, government relations, political sensitivities, history, and religion. Branding needs to be consistent across all layers. In my experience at Ogilvy PR, working with ProExport Colombia, the government agency charged with promoting tourism, investment, and trade in Colombia, we face the uphill battle of changing outdated negative perceptions. In the latter part of the 20th century, Colombia was perceived by travelers and the business community as a country in the grips of violent narco-terrorists. Despite breathtaking scenery and rich resources, Colombia was better known for cocaine production and its decades-long civil war. By the mid-2000s, a national security crackdown and widespread social reform had stabilized key metropolitan centers and travel destinations. As a result, global tourism to Colombia increased by 11% and the U.S. State Department issued a revised travel warning on the improving conditions. The stability also fueled a record increase in foreign direct investment, which rose to 26% of GDP in 2008. Despite these improvements, ProExport Colombia struggled to educate investors and foreign visitors about the country's positive shift. Without effectively establishing Colombia as a safe and welcoming business and leisure destination, ProExport's efforts would continue to be hampered by outdated perceptions that turned off tourists and investors. There are a variety of challenges in nation branding. The three most common include, one, no strategic coordination among institutions within the country. It is key for all involved in nation branding to avoid communicating different and uncoordinated messages. Two, too much reliance on advertising. Advertising is successful and effective at early stages when the brand is launched. Advertising is expensive, one-way communication, and there should be more reliance on two-way communication in order to build and maintain relationships. Three, short-term effects and thinking rather than long-term. Some elements of branding are more visible and easier to measure, such as the number of tourists visiting the country, but creating strong country brands can easily take decades and is a slow process. We cannot take a one-size-fits-all approach when it comes to nation branding. However, to combat negative sentiment and to build a new image through positive storytelling, we need to employ a multifaceted approach. To elevate a nation's visibility in the media, we can employ Messaging. Create core messages and media-trained spokespeople to reflect consistency. Press trips. Provide strategic counsel on which reporters should travel to the nation to experience tourism, investment, and or trade offerings firsthand. Industry events. Support securing opportunities and media coverage surrounding well-known media events. Media days. Executive visibility among select group of media can serve as standalone events and complement other campaign tactics. A well-executed media campaign can have a direct impact on a nation's tourism and business objectives. With Columbia, the campaign helped attract more FDI and investment projects than ever before in their history, contributing 13.1% increase in Columbia's GDP. Investment interest resulted in new direct flight routes from the U.S. and Caribbean on JetBlue, Avianca, and American Airlines. Between 2012 and 2013, Columbia saw more than 8% average increase in American, Canadian, and Caribbean arrivals to Colombia. Lastly, influencers also took notice and became our best advocates. Speaking at an event for the Women's Foreign Policy Group in September 2013, Diana Villers Negroponte, senior fellow at the Brookings Institute, said that Colombia was the model for Mexico and Brazil to follow as they modernized their economies, industries, and public sector. Ogilvy PR has a proven track record of successful nation branding campaigns. For example, on behalf of Mexico, Ogilvy PR secured more than 500 interviews for key Mexican government and Mexico Tourism Board personalities that helped to fundamentally change the media conversation 
regarding Mexico internationally. In partnership with Ogilvy PR, 2011 became Mexico's benchmark year in terms of international tourism, and the Secretary of Tourism and Mexico Tourism Board CEO became the number two and number three most quoted spokespeople for Mexico internationally behind President Calderon. Following our work with Mexico, Ogilvy PR took on ProExport Colombia, resulting in record numbers in tourism and foreign investment. And most recently, we have added Brand USA to our portfolio as we work to drive international tourism to the United States with the goal of attracting 100 million annual tourists by 2021.